And the correct way with any player at any position, it would be a non-starter with me. Hmm. Not playing around there, Darren Woodson. Now, assuming Johnny moves on from Cleveland. Assuming. Assuming. Yes. Should your guy, Jerry Jones, welcome him with open arms? Absolutely not. Okay. Mm. Absolutely not. And, and I say that because the Cowboys are in a situation, of course, with Tony Romo at 30, will he be 36 years old? He's probably one injury, another injury away from you know, yep. missing another amount, another amount of games. I think they're looking towards the draft. And I'm not saying a first-round pick, maybe a second-round pick at the quarterback position that they can bring up through their system, a guy that can sit behind Tony Romo, the prototypical quarterback, that, that type of size they're looking for, that can learn underneath Tony much like Aaron Rodgers learned underneath Brett Favre. I'm not saying... No, I got it. Brett Favre, but yep. I'm just saying I think that's what they're looking for, someone that can grow up through the system, and Jason Garrett can have his hands on him. Bringing in a guy like Johnny Manziel brings so much to that locker room as well, and they've gone through it. I think one thing they've learned this year is the Greg Hardy experience didn't work well within the locker room, and we just know a little bit of what happened with <laughs> Greg Hardy. We don't know the depths of what happened in that locker room, but they've had issues, and now Stephen Jones is more – in control of this organization than Jerry, Jerry Jones is. And really? I don't think, you, you think so? Like Absolutely. Even more like yeah, he would because, have final say? Yeah, absolutely, because they're, they're in a the draft. We all know Jerry wanted to, to draft Johnny Manziel. Steven talked him off the cliff, and basically Steven is the guy. And I think that's the understanding in, at Valley Ranch now. Steven Jones is the guy for the, the future of this, this organization as it pertains to personnel. I don't see Steven bringing in a guy like Johnny as far as the, the locker room mix and what they want. And I know at the end of that season, Jason, head coach Jason Garrett had some not so kind words to say about Greg Hardy. Sure. Uh, didn't stand up for him at all. I think he's a guy that wants to get the locker room back, control the locker room. And Johnny Manziel added to the mix is not going to make that locker room what we want it. Because one thing we're going to have is this. Let's say Tony Romo has one of those three interception day games. Mm -hmm. Johnny Manziel is on oh. the pitch. Yep. The crowd is going to be cheering Johnny Manziel back on, on the field. Do you want that division within your locker room? And I guarantee you one thing, the Cowboys do not want that division in the locker room. So I can't see Manziel being a guy mm -hmm. that they bring in. Stephen A., you like it? I find this conversation to be ridiculous, and I find Darren Woodson's comments to be even worse. Uh -oh. And I say this affectionately because everybody know that Darren Woodson is my man. I love getting on him. Uh, Skip Bayless, you and your pathetic cowboy <laughs> loving mm -hmm. self, yeah. all of y'all make me sick. Uh -huh. And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Because, see, I am a great, great teammate. I am a great, great colleague. Under no circumstances do I want to call out. It's one thing for me to butt heads with Skip every day, but that's, I mean, that's, that's my brother from another mother. Everybody know I love my man, Skip Bayless. But this cowboy subject is really, really slick. And I'm going to tell you something right now. When you look at Darren Woodson, the stuff, the garbage that you just spewed out of your mouth, I'm not going to let you get away with it. Let me tell you what both of you just did. Skip brought up the subject with his slick self. You sit there and bore the hook, line, and sinker. Oh, no, we don't want Johnny Manziel. Oh, stop it. Both of you are a liar. Both of you, okay? Because we all know we're talking about Jerry Jones here. You understand the walking piece of mediocrity spanning two decades that he is and that your pathetic cowboys are. So what happens? We sit up there, right? And we say Johnny Manziel. Oh, no. Johnny Manziel can't be here. Oh, no, he'd be too much of a distraction. Oh, since when has that meant anything? We all know what you really care about is headlines. You clearly don't care about winning because you damn near never do it, okay? So just stop this nonsense and stop lying to the American people. You know good and well, Darren, you know good and well, Skip Bayless, that the second there's a scintilla of a chance for Jerry Jones to get Johnny Manziel, he's going to do it for headlines alone because Jerry Jones wins the headlines, he wins the newspapers, he wins the publicity game, he wins everything, he wins in business, he wins in every way but football for 20 years 
and counting. The Dallas Cowboys are a disgrace, but the fan base is even worse, and the fan base is led by that ringleader himself, Barnum and Bailey's own Cowboy oh. lover, Skip Bayless, and Darren Woodson, <laughs> the player for the Dallas Cowboys, who retired the Ring of Honor, mm. Time mm. in the Suites, all of this yeah. other stuff. Oh, you think you're so yeah. slick. Jerry you Jones two party bus. are trying to get Johnny Manziel in Dallas. Oh, That's what this subject's about. Y'all are trying to get Johnny Manziel to Dallas. Y'all make with you, me sick. Stephen I swear A. to you. I swear, <laughs> I, I, I swear to y'all want to throw some water at that, both of you. You guys, you guys are your wicked witches in terms of the Cowboys fan base. That's what y'all are. Y'all uh, are awful when it comes to the Cowboys. Uh, Shame on both of you when it comes to the Cowboys. Only the Cowboys. I love both of y'all outside of that. But when it comes to the Cowboys, shame on both of y'all. Both of y'all are disgraceful. Oh, just, just stop it. <laughs> Johnny Manziel. Oh, please. Please. You're uh, just trying to win headlines. That's all y'all care about. Headlines, headlines, headlines. <clears throat> America's team, right, Skip? America's team. They y'all are. make And they will sick. always be, and you know it, and you oh, will it's stand disgusting. it. That's it's the problem. It's disgusting. And right now, I would like to vote to permanently enshrine my brother from another mother, Stephen A. Smith, in the ring of dishonor, the cowboy ring of dishonor, <laughs> because you belong in it permanently. And I wish we would just turn this man's uh, monitor off, turn his microphone ahead. off, go so ahead. that I could have an intelligent conversation go with ahead, somebody yeah. with some objectivity. Uh, there we go. Oh, no, we're on no, a little the Dallas Dallas fan right there now. Go. Yeah. There we go, Skip. Yeah. 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 Makes Makes sense. Sense. Because here's the truth. <laughs> Please. You and I don't agree on this because I'll be the first to admit on draft night I was rooting for Jerry or Steven or both of them to take Johnny Manziel. Mm. I loved him in college. I still think he has a chance to be very good in pro football. I believe in Johnny on the field but I'm gonna say it for the 10,000th time. It's hard for me to believe in him off the field. And now to, to get real serious, Fort Worth Star Telegram had a story over the weekend. Johnny was spotted at a liquor store in Fort Worth near the TCU campus buying a bottle of tequila. We presume that's because the woman he's been dating for a while is a student at TCU. So, okay, that all makes sense. Or does it? Big deal, no big deal. I, I personally think it's a very big deal because we all know last offseason, Johnny went to rehab. I think he failed at rehab. And I no longer trust that he has made peace with his off-field issues. And until he does, it's hard for me to believe in him on the field. But now back to Dallas. I was even making the case during the year as I watched Brandon's just stay off the Whedon and Matt Castle lose game after game after game. I was actually wishing they had taken Johnny two years ago, albeit in place of a Zach Martin who's made two straight Pro Bowls. So it's, how can I argue with that? Well, it's hard to argue. But if Johnny had stayed straight, if you will, and, and developed the right way under Tony Romo, I think he was made for Dallas, Texas. That's just me. Now, is it circus? Here's, here's the, the issue yeah, yeah. I have with you. Okay, he, he is, by all accounts, he's a good locker room guy. Like, the other players in Cleveland seem to really oh, like yeah. him. Yeah. Okay, so I don't think he's got the Greg Hardy thing where he's going to alienate the locker room until he decides to, if he's hurt, go to Las Vegas the night before the game. And that's that that's going to that's gonna alienate yes. you. I, can, yes. I know that for Oh, yeah, that. absolutely. Okay, but as far as day-to-day -day interactions with teammates, I think he's a pretty good guy. You know, I think everybody kind of enjoys being around Johnny. He, yeah, I agree. Okay? I, I absolutely agree. I think Johnny's a, guy, a good guy. I've been, I've been around him. He's a good But do you want the... Listen... With all the distractions that you've had, Johnny's been a backup, and he's had all these distractions yes. in, Cle in oh, Cleveland. I, I got it's it. It's who you in, are. In Cleveland. It's who you are. It's why, why bring it to it's Dallas? It's who you are. There's why? no way. They're having a moment, having, Stephen yes, A. They're having, 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 having a moment. They're having a moment. Forget your moment. Who cares about yeah. your moment? I just Johnny don't Manziel see. needs to go to Houston. How about Houston? Houston, Texas, they need a quarterback. They do. The Texans. They need one more than the Dallas Cowboys, unless you're relying on Tony Romo hurting his back again or something like well, you that. Are. Skip Bayless. You I are. just don't see it. I really. Oh, I mean, I, even Bill O'Brien. Why would Houston want to bring in? Johnny? I mean, it's, it's just. He wouldn't. No I way. Just, you know, if Johnny had turned himself around completely around and was there, didn't have any problems in the okay. off, off season, I oh, think he'd be a guy that it. you would honestly say, okay, well, we'll take a shot at him. But 
he hasn't gotten over some of the demons that he's he had. So not. why bring him into last a comment. Cowboys? This is a four and what four and twelve team. <laughs> yes, you're not getting last better comment. with Johnny Mazzilla as your comment. backup listen, quarterback. Listen, the only person that would be proud of the Dallas Cowboys getting Johnny Manziel. Uh, I mean, other than Jerry Jones, because obviously it's all, it's all about headlines. Larry Hagman, God rest his soul, because the Dallas Cowboys are nothing but a soap opera. You don't need a show. You don't need actors. You don't need the program on TV. All you need is to take the Dallas Cowboys and put them on in the evening, being a resident soap opera, <laughs> sitcom, whatever you want, drama really that they are. They're not a football <laughs> team. They just win headlines. They win ratings. That's what they do. But they don't win games. Uh, just stop it. I'm just You're talking so you're talking so loudly you're shaking your camera. Stop, I can't stay I'm with you. I'm just sick of y'all. I'm just sick of y'all. I'm, 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 I'm almost at the point. You. I'm almost at the oh, point yeah. where I don't believe Dallas anybody that roots for the Dallas Cowboys should be on TV. I'm, just, I'm almost <laughs> at that point. I'm almost at that point. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you people make me sick. You cowboy mm-hmm. fans are the worst. Yeah, we're the best. There's no reality whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. You need to hang out in New England a little more because Patriots fans are pretty bad around here too. Yeah. But I digress. Thank you. All right. Let's move on. Enough. Bye, Darren. What? No, he's not leaving. We're talking oh, the he's NBA. Not no, oh, we're talking, we're talking about the NBA. Steph just keeps.